Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. Um, I wanted to show you the September Let's Make Art watercolor subscription box, September 2021. Um, they send it kind of towards the end of the month so that you can get ready because all of the videos are ready on the first of the month that it's for. Uh, which is a recent change. So I will be talking about some of the changes that they've made uh, before I subscribed and then also since I've subscribed. So before I get into this, um, this here actually normally says the month. So this would say September. The last two, uh, last month and this month, I think it was August, August and September have had names uh, I think last month was like Tropical Magic. And uh, this one is Adventure Awaits. Totally fine. Um, I just have to remember what month it's for. And now that I understand when it comes at the end of the month, it's for the following month, because that's when the tutorials start. Um, then I'm fine in my head. Uh, that I'm fine with. Obviously, it's just a name. Um, and then one change that... Uh, that they made, which is un completely understandable, uh, uh, like a box or two in, maybe just one box in for me on my, by my second box, maybe I haven't had too many. I think this is number four. I want to say, um, the tutorials were released on YouTube. The video tutorials were released once, um, once a week because there were four. And so throughout the month, they would be released. And what they switched to was that still happens. But uh, at the first of the month, people who subscribe and have an account and can log in can watch all the videos at once at the first of the month, which makes more sense. So totally fine with that change. Um, and that actually makes sense. I don't know that anybody is doing all of them <laughs> at the beginning of the month. But if you want to, the videos are there and then they're still released on YouTube. So this information is still widely available. If you don't have the subscription, you just don't get, you know, the paints and the kit and everything that go with it. And then, um, so, uh, last, I think last month they, cause normally when I signed up, they had four projects for you to do. And then last month, I believe they had three and then a cop out, I'm just gonna call it that, call it what it is. It was like a use one of the things you've learned and do your own thing. So it's like they just didn't have four. So they only had three technically, but you still get the paper for four projects and uh, they tell you to just be creative, which I don't know how to do. So I, f I think that they did that again. Um, I'm gonna look at this, yeah. Uh, creative challenge. I feel like maybe four was just too many for them, but I just don't, I don't like downgrades when it comes to subscription things that I've signed up for. So when it comes to like, just in as, as an example, um, the sticky club, they had originally had like a referral program and then they had to revamp their entire website. So for the referral program, if you got three people to sign up with your link, you got a free month that you didn't have to pay for. And I had two people under me and I was uh, not under me, but that had used my link and I was one away from getting a free month. And then they did their whole website and they said, sorry, we're not doing the referral program anymore. So I just thought that was kind of crappy. Um, don't do something if you can't keep it up, like something that people expect. So as kind of a downgrade, I, I think I'll be disappointed if this is the case uh, next month as well, because, you know, I'm paying for four projects. I'm not, I'm not here to be creative. I'm here to copy what you're doing, obviously. Um, so it says sometimes the best way to learn is to try something on your own, but no, you just did three things and didn't want to do four, I guess. Um, so that's fine. I'm probably being fairly critical, but this, these things just keep happening and I just it's hard not to notice them when it comes to subscription boxes or things that people promise and then just kind of like don't do it anymore um and then also so those I'll hold on that if you want to 
uh, read that if you want to pause, but I'm going to be showing you these anyway. The other thing, which I think they started a while ago based on somebody else who's been getting these for a lot longer than I have, they started adding like a free gift. And so last month was like the really cute bag. If you want to find my video, I'll show you like the canvas bag. And um, sometimes it's something that's um, this, the masking pen. And then another month it was like a spray bottle that you ended up using um, in it or with the projects and that's fine. I feel like I don't think there's a free gift in this month, but I feel like it's because we got better quality paint. So the good stuff, it's paint. We did get four and obviously very you know, good mixing colors. Um, Sennelier paints like full tubes of the paint. Uh, student grade. So just, you know, keeping costs uh, reasonable. Um, so those are them. But I feel like this is maybe the gift included in the paint, as opposed to their paints that they normally send. Um, this is obviously, this is a bigger one. They send little ones that are shorter. Uh, but normally it's their company's paint. Um, but this is nicer paint. So maybe that's the gift. I don't know. I'm assuming so because I don't see anything else in here and I only watched one unboxing video because there was only one up so far for this month and uh, it was her first one so I don't think she knew. So this one is also, um, this is like June was, June was for like Father's Day so it just said like send it to a father um, and so they send you the graphite paper for tracing. And so I actually keep those in a, uh, in an envelope. I just keep all the graphite that they send in a separate envelope, but they also send you a postcard for the let's make art matter. And normally it's a story of someone who needs it. And this is pre-stamped and pre-addressed to that person. Um, so this one is because of their anniversary of when they opened to create something and send it to a small business of your choice. So again, different. Um, I don't know how many times they've done, like had not filled it out before. Um, but I'm sure it will be someone specific next month. Uh, so these are the projects. I'm going to go ahead and open this you get eight pieces of watercolor paper and um, I need to get a binder but I've been putting these into um, like sheet protector sleeves that can go in a binder so keeping all the pieces together like the stencil the instructions and putting that in one um, so the first one is hot air balloons you have a sample of what it's supposed to look like when you're done. So that's a scan of their project. And then the step-by-step -step instructions, I guess if you want to get started or just do it without a video. And then uh, the colors that you will use and it looks like all four of them. So there's that. And then the brushes, just as a reminder, if this is the first video of this that you're watching, they recommend around six and around two and they actually sell them. I did buy them when there was a sale along with some other things, uh, but they're not gonna send brushes every month. So really all you just need to have is brushes and they'll send you the rest each month. So that's the only thing that you'll need to buy once. You can buy your own size six and two or whatever you want, but they do have their own uh, brand of brushes. Uh, and then if there is going to be a stencil that you will use with the graphite paper to put under, obviously open this up um, and then trace it onto this watercolor paper, um, then that will be included as well. So that is the first one. I'm going to set that aside. And then there is Wildflower Adventure. And that is what it should look like kind of by the time you're done. And it looks like that's more abstract. So there's no um, stencil with it. 
So just those two pieces. And then a biplane, which does have a stencil. So that is what it should look like by the time you're done. And it looks like you add some kind of cloud clouds in the background. Uh, it looks like that happens first. So those are the instructions and the stencil. Oops. Losing our pieces here. Uh, green leaves, just a page full of leaves in different greens. And so it looks like you'll be using all the colors on that one. Um, I think all of these are using all the colors. Yeah, all of them use all four colors. So there's that one with the instructions. Again, more abstract, doesn't need an outline. And then uh, the creative challenge, which I will never do because I don't, <laughs> I need instruction. If I'm gonna do a creative challenge, I'll probably just do something random or abstract on my own that has nothing to do with um, what it suggests. So there's that. And then I do believe though you still get the eight uh, pieces. So um, there's eight, I guess there's 10 this time and it looks maybe a little different. It almost looks the same though. So it could be, I'm trying to look at the difference. So this could be the free gift and maybe I should have read something. Um, I don't see anything specific, but it almost looks like just looking at it. I don't know if you can tell this is a little toothier than this. Uh, they both seem to be, you know, cold press paper, not hot press or anything, not too smooth. This one seems to be a little bit rougher. So maybe it's two sheets of different watercolor paper. No, that's all the same. So I guess we just got 10 this time. So two extra pieces. I'll call that our free gift and our nice paints. Um, four, five, six. Yeah. There's 10 of them. So normally it's two per project. So eight per box, but we got some extra and I will be putting this in my envelope with my other graphite sheets. And I'm really excited to see how this does for student grade paint versus artist grade, but it's a good brand. So there is that. Um, if you have any questions about it, I'm going to leave their website down below. They also have an art journaling box and they have a kid's box, I believe. Um, the art journaling one looks interesting, just not something I would do obviously into watercolor more so. Um, but if you have any questions about it or what it's like, um, feel free to let me know down below and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.